ओके गाइज वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी शोइंग यूल हाउ यूल कैन क्रिएट अ नाइस इंट्रैक्शन सिस्टम बिटवीन मल्टीपल ऑब्जेक्ट्स यूजिंग द ब्लू प्रिंट इंटरफेस लाइब्रेरी इट इज़ अ वेरी नाइस वे ऑफ मेंटेनिंग योर कोड एंड कीपिंग इट क्लीन एंड या सो इट्स अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स इंट्रैक्शन सिस्टम मेड सिंपल यू डोंट हैव टू कास्ट your object multiple times or create multiple references of multiple objects so yeah let's go ahead and start so let's begin so first thing i'll do is come inside your content browser in your designated folder right click and create a blueprint interface so i name it bpi underscore interaction system open it up so before i add anything here i just want to give a quick rundown of what exactly is a blueprint interface if anyone is using it for the first time and why exactly do we use this so interfaces they are they enable a way of communication between multiple blueprints without having to cast when by cast i mean when we use like cast to third person or cast to any so and so animation blueprint or anything so this is an optimized way of doing it because it, whenever you do a cast it creates an overhead because you are you need direct references when you create a cast and that is really heavy when it comes when you do it multiple times so let's start so this your uh, blueprint interface it is quite similar if you open your construction script or add a new function in your third person character so first thing i want to do is uh, i already have a function so i'll name it let's say bpi uh underscore interact and compile and save so we'll do a very simple thing now so what i'll do next is create a blueprint class of actor so this one will be bp underscore light so i'll open that up so yeah so first thing you need to do is uh, click on this class settings button here and inside implemented interfaces go ahead and add your so interaction system so as soon as you add over here inside your interfaces you will see this bpi interact which we created so let's create a interaction system for this one so this will be more of a let's say a light i'll do a light kind of a thing uh we can also do a flip flop for this one okay let's try so i'll go ahead and create a material uh you can go ahead and skip this part if you already have a material just go ahead i'll add the time stamps bpm is going on so i'm just creating a simple msm material with um, so i'll add a color node first and uh, yeah i'll just give it a gray type of color now and i'll do the same i'll just multiply this color node and connect it to the msm and convert promote to parameter so this will be your msf value mm, that's it and come inside your blueprint and go ahead and create your material instance i go ahead create a new material instance and name it mi underscore light and yeah just turn on just copy this name okay so back to our actor uh, assign the material inside your event graph click on bpi interact so what i'll do is add a flip flop node so this is 
it interchanges between so first it will do a next time whenever it is triggered it will do b and so on so i'll get this here and i'll do create dynamic material instance i'll assign our like material and here i'll do actually what i'll do is i'll add a timeline so just so that it's more smooth like below and do play from start and length will be one second add a float track so at zero it will be zero and at one second i want it to be let's say two compile that and uh, if you want you can add a nice uh, ease in ease out by doing auto okay back into our event graph what i'll do is i'll do set scalar parameter value and connect this here and this will be our emissive value i hope i'm naming that right copy this display name and yeah on update so you want to do the same thing copy this entire thing and connect it here and instead of play from start we'll do a reverse from end so compile save so okay let's test that out so i'll drag in this actually i haven't even done the player side yet so let's do that first so i'll just open up my third person character and inside my event graph event so i'll add a new function so i already have this function trace forward uh so it's simple it's just a simple forward trace uh, i had made it for some other reason so we already have this so i'm just going to copy this start and create a new new function let's say interaction trace copy this and okay so it's simple you can instead of arrow you can do your character get world location get forward vector and just multiply that so i'll do one one, one frame and now here okay so you want to break it result and add a branch and from hit actor contain uh, search for interface or else oh you don't even need to do that uh once yeah sorry for that so what you want to do is from your hit actor node does you need to you need this does object implement interface and from the boolean do another branch and interface you can add your interaction bpi interaction system so i'll add a variable uh, can interact and i'll set this true i set this false i'll also add another variable interaction object type will be your actor class and here uh, i'll set this with the hit actor and over here you will set it as a null object and compile so next thing i want to do is whenever let's say keyboard uh, let's say if i press the z key uh, oh okay i'm still inside the function node that's why uh, okay 
and from your event tick you want I'll call my interaction trace I can call it here itself okay and now uh, keyboard Z I'll do a branch if can interact is true interaction object do BPI interact okay let's test that with this object so you can see this trace is there I'm interacting with the object I press Z it glows I press Z nothing happens <coughs> pretty cool but now when I'm pressing Z outside also it's glowing uh, let's check why that's happening <coughs> sorry for that okay uh, inside your function come come back inside your function so interaction trace okay so you'll have to set this over here as well because this will only trigger if it's tracing something so yeah so i think now it should work fine so interact nothing happens and yeah pretty cool so now let's get to the beauty of the system more so now i'm going to create another actor so blueprint class actor so let's create like a door probably uh, I'll create a door why not actor compile come into a class setting first add your interface a while uh, so actually I'll create um, what do I need to add uh, so it's a door right so let me first check if I have any door I had imported a lot of assets so I should have something like a door I think yeah yeah this should work why not I'll add another starting mesh It's a window, but if I just if I just increase the size, that's a door. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so come inside your event graph, click on your interact, just add your function here. So for this, what I want to do is uh, I'll take the right compile. So right. So I'll rotate it just 90. So, okay. What you want to do is add a timeline again. Play from start. I'll just do it quickly. One second. So, sorry. Zero will be zero. And one will be minus 90. Minus 90. But so yeah you want to do the same I'll do so I actually I, what I'll do is add a sequence node for this one uh, play from start uh, add relative rotation and split so this will be 90 in your Z axis, I suppose. Yes. So yeah. So this will go here. I will just duplicate this. Play from start. Instead of right, add the left. And instead of minus 90, make it 90. That's all. Cool. 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 
and yeah if you want you can just add a do once node as well if you so that it's not opening again and again so let's go ahead and test this oh, it is way too small but yeah that should work so let's see so go here interact with this oh nice interact oh okay i know what's happening let's fix that first so i don't think it's add relative rotation but world rotation maybe let's see that how it works uh, and world rotation so probably this should work let's see wow Hmm. Okay, let me let's try a different way if this doesn't work. So I take this add relative rotation. No, I feel what we can do is set world rotation. And you can split the spin, and I'll add a lot float log. Connect this value to Z, so zero minus ninety, and you can add a timeline. Uh, I'll do alpha for this, and this will be a simple zero to one. So one second, and float. Hopefully this works. Otherwise, I'm looking like a really big idiot here. <laughs> But I think I'll leave this unedited this time. Not edit out the mistakes and just see how it goes from there. So yeah, let's try. Oh, that's strange. It didn't load at all because I didn't connect anything to the alpha. Hmm. Weird. And okay. I think I'll have to edit it. So what's it? let's let's see what's happening. I think instead of world rotation, it is relative rotation. Relative. So this thing uh, always confuses me. Every time I do this, I have to always try all the nodes for some reason. Do let me know if. There are something like that with you guys as well. There you go. Perfect. Uh, you can do the same thing for your left as well. So at the left over here, it's a minus ninety. This will be ninety, and you have a door as well. Beautiful. So yeah, same way you can add as many system as many objects you want and create a nice system with just one key press and which will interact with all of them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you love the content and want many like these tutorials. And thank you.